Hello, and welcome to our service for Good Friday. This service is being recorded for the 10th of April, 2020, while we continue to take measures to help slow the spread of the coronavirus. The tone of Holy Week services is always somber and reflective, and perhaps even more so this year. At St. Olaf's, we would normally have a service on every day of Holy Week, but this year we're condensing them all down into this one service. The service you are about to participate in has two parts. The first is the stripping of the altar. This, of course, would normally be done on the evening of Monday, Thursday. And in this act, we are reminded of the hours leading up to our Lord's crucifixion, his arrest in the garden, and that experience of having everything taken away from him. Perhaps this year we will experience this in an even more poignant way, as all of us now know what it is to have things taken away from us. In the second part of our service will be the Stations of the Cross. This is a very old tradition in which participants move from one station to the next, observing at each one of the final moments in our Lord's walk toward Calvary. It's a slow and meditative journey as we pause at each of the 14 stations to pray and to recollect. In some ways, it feels as though we are stuck in a perpetual Good Friday in this current moment in which we find ourselves. Each day is a station along a very slow and difficult path that seems to be rather dark. I hope that in walking these stations together of our Lord, we might bring new meaning and perspective to our own Good Friday journey. And in the night season also I 
take no rest, and thou continuest holy. O thou worship of Israel, our fathers trusted in thee. They trusted in thee, and thou didst deliver them. They called upon thee and were saved. They put their trust in thee and were not confounded. But as for me, I am a worm and no man, a very scorn of men and the outcast of the people. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out their lips and shake their heads, saying, He trusted in God that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him if he delighteth in him. But thou art he that took me from the womb. Thou wast my hope when I hanged yet upon my mother's breasts. I have been left unto thee ever since I was born. Thou art my God, even from my mother's womb. O oh, go not from me, for trouble is hard at hand, and there is none to help me. Many oxen are come about me, Strongholds of Bashan close me in on every side. They gape upon me with their mouths, as it were a ramping and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart also in the midst of my body is even like melting wax. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue cleaveth to my gum. And thou bringest me into the dust of death. For many dogs are come about me. And the counsel of the wicked lay a siege against me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I may count all my bones. They stand staring and looking upon me. They part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. But be not thou far from me, O Lord. Thou art my succor, haste thee to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, and my life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth. The 
thou hast heard me also from among the horns of the wild oxen. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. O oh, praise the Lord, ye that fear him. Magnify him, all ye of the seed of Jacob, and stand in awe of him, all ye seed of Israel. For he hath not despised nor abhorred the low estate of the poor. He hath not hid his face from them, but when he called unto him, he heard him. Of thee cometh my praise in the great congregation. My vows will I perform in the sight of them that fear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. They that seek after the Lord shall praise him. May your heart live forever. All the ends of the world shall remember and shall be turned unto the Lord. And all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before him. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he is the governor among the nations. Surely to him shall all the proud of the earth bow down, and before him shall kneel all that go down into the dust, and he that cannot keep his soul alive. Their posterity shall serve him. It shall be told of the Lord unto a generation yet to come. Lo, we have seen he hath no form or comeliness. There is no beauty in him. He hath borne our sins and carried our sorrows. He was wounded for our iniquities, and by his stripes we are healed. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt, so I will be done. Lying men compass me about, they scourge me without a cause. But thou, O Lord, my defender, avenge my cause. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt, so I will be done. For trouble is hard at hand, and there is none to help. But thou, O Lord, my defender, avenge my cause. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt, so I will be done.
Almighty God, whose dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through the same, thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. At the cross her station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping close to Jesus to the last. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to feel sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. When he returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, So you could not keep watch with me for one hour. Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Lord, grant us thy strength and wisdom, that we may seek to follow thy will in all things. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Through her soul of joy bereaved, bowed with anguish deeply grieved, now at length the sword hath passed. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Then, while Jesus was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a crowd with swords and clubs, who had come from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. His betrayer had arranged a signal with them, saying, The man I shall kiss is the one. Arrest him and lead him away securely. He came and immediately went over to him and said, Rabbi, and he kissed him. At this they laid hands on him and arrested him. Then, while Jesus was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a crowd with swords and clubs who had come from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. His betrayer had arranged a signal with them, saying, The man I shall kiss is the one. Arrest him and lead him away securely. He came and immediately went over to him and said, Rabbi, and he kissed him. At this they laid hands on him and arrested him. Lord, grant us the courage of our convictions, that our lives may faithfully reflect the good news thou dost bring. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. O that blessed one, grief-laden, blessed mother, blessed maiden, Mother of the Holy One. 
We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. When the day came, the council of elders of the people met, both chief priests and scribes, and they brought him before their Sanhedrin. They said, If you are the Messiah, tell us. But he replied to them, If I tell you, you will not believe, and if I question, you will not respond. But from this time on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. They all asked, Are you then the Son of God? He replied to them, You say that I am. Then they said, What further need have we for testimony? We have heard it from his own mouth. Lord, grant us thy sense of righteousness, that we may never cease to work to bring about the justice of the kingdom that thou hast promised. O Savior of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us, save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. O that silent, ceaseless morning, O those dim eyes never turning, from that wondrous suffering Son. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. One of the maids came over to him and said, You too were with Jesus, the Galilean. But he denied it in front of everyone, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. As he went out to the gate, another girl saw him and said to those who were there, This man was with Jesus, the Nazarene. Again he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. A little later, the bystanders came over and said to Peter, Surely you too are one of them. Even your speech gives you away. At that he began to curse and to swear, I do not know the man and immediately a cock crowed. Then Peter remembered the word that Jesus had spoken. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. He went out and began to weep bitterly. Lord, grant us the gift of honesty that we may not fear to speak the truth, even when difficult. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. O on Christ, dear Mother, gazing in her trouble so amazing, born of woman, we adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. The chief priests with the elders and the scribes, that is, the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him, Are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, you say so. The chief priests accused him of many things. Again, Pilate questioned him. Have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of? Jesus gave him no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas and handed Jesus over to be crucified. Lord, grant us discernment, that we may see as thou dost see, not as the world sees. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. O on Christ, dear Mother, thinking, such a cup of sorrow drinking, would not 
We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him scourged, and the soldiers wove a crown out of thorns and placed it on his head, and clothed him in a purple cloak. And they came to him and said, Hail, King of the Jews, and they struck him repeatedly. Lord, grant us patience in times of suffering, that we may offer our lives as a sacrifice of praise. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us, save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. For his people sins rejected, saw her Jesus unprotected, saw with thorns and scourges rent. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. When the chief priests and the guards saw Jesus, they cried out, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him. I find no guilt in him. They cried out, Take him away, take him away, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus, and carrying the cross himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. Lord, grant us strength of purpose, that we may faithfully bear our crosses each day. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us, save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Saw the Lord's anointed taken, saw her child in death forsaken, heard his last expiring cry. In the passion of my Maker, be my sinful soul partaker. May I bear with her my part. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. Lord, grant us willing spirits, that we may be thine instruments on earth. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Of his passion bear the token, in a spirit bowed and broken. Bear his death within my heart. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. For indeed the days are coming when people will say, Blessed are the barren, the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. At that time people will say to the mountains, Fall upon us, and to the hills, Cover us.
For if these things are done when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Lord, grant us gentle spirit, that we may comfort those who mourn. O Savior of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Those five wounds on Jesus smitten, Mother, in my heart be written, Deep as in thine own they be. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him and the criminals there, one on his right, the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, they know not what they do. Lord, grant us merciful hearts that we may bring thy reconciliation and forgiveness to all. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. By thy glorious death and passion, saving me in wondrous fashion, Saviour, turn my heart to thee. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Now, one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God, for you are subject to the same condemnation? And indeed, we have been condemned justly, for the sentence we received corresponds to our crimes, but this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Lord, grant us perseverance, that we may never stop seeking thee. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. At thy feet in adoration, wrapped in earnest contemplation, See beneath thy cross I lie. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Standing at the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciples there, whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciples, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciples took her into his home. Lord, grant us constancy, that we may be willing to stand by those in need. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Mine with thee be that sad station, there to watch the great salvation, wrought upon the atoning tree. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. It was now about noon, 
and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon because of an eclipse of the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. Grant us trust in thee, that when our time on earth is ended, our spirits may come to thee without delay. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Virgin, thou of virgins fairest, may the bitter woe thou bearest make on me We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was himself a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be handed over. Taking the body, Joseph wrapped it in clean linen and laid it in his new tomb that he had hewn in the rock. Then he rolled a huge stone across the entrance to the tomb and departed. Lord, grant us thy compassion, that we may always provide for those in need. O Saviour of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood hast redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, pattern of humility, who didst empty thyself of thy glory and take upon thee the form of a servant, root out of us all pride and self-seeking, that we may willingly bear contempt and reproach for thy sake and glorying in nothing save thy cross, may esteem ourselves lowly in thy sight. Amen. O Lord God, whose blessed Son, our Saviour, gave his back to the smiters, and hid not his face from shame, grant us grace to take joyfully the sufferings of the present time, in full assurance of the glory that shall be revealed. Through the same, thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Holy Redeemer, by whose condemnation we are acquitted, by whose stripes we are healed, by whose death we have life, by whose cross we gain our crown, keep us, we beseech thee, ever mindful of thy boundless love. And when thou dost call on us to bear for a while thy cross, like Simon of old, make us to rejoice that we are counted worthy to suffer for thy sake through the merits of thine eternal redemption. Amen. O Saviour of the world, who in Gethsemane didst accept the bitter cup of submission to the Father's will, look mercifully upon our weak and wayward lives, and arm us with such strength and courage that we may tread without fear the appointed path of duty, and evermore follow the pattern of thy costly obedience, for thy honour and glory. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Were you